Hey guys, Mr. Backberg here. This is part one of lesson 1.4. We are going to name, measure, and classify some angles. When we're talking about angles, angles are built from two different rays that have the same endpoint or a common endpoint. So if we're looking at this picture, we've got the ray that runs from B to A. We've also got a ray that runs from B to C. Those rays make up the sides of our angle. That common initial point or that common end point B in our picture, we would call the vertex. That's like the point of our angle. When we're talking about naming angles, there's a few different ways to approach it depending on what our picture looks like. So if we've got this picture on the left hand side where we've got this angle with points A, B, and C on it, one way to name an angle is using the three points that show up on the angle. One thing we do have to be careful about is we need to make sure that the vertex point, so on this one it would be point B, is in the middle. So there's two different names that we could give to this angle. We could call this angle, we use a little angle symbol, we could call this angle A, B, C, again having that vertex point in the middle. The other name that we could give to this would be angle C, B, A. So using those three points with the vertex point in the middle. Now in this picture, we've got just a single angle to look at. There's only one angle in the picture. If we're dealing with only one angle, then another way we could name it is just using the vertex point. So we could just call this angle B. If we've got multiple angles or more than one angle shown in a picture though, we're not able to use the one letter way of naming. We have to use the three letters with the vertex in the middle. So there's actually a bunch of different angles that show up in this picture. First thing I'm going to focus on is this small angle right up here. It's got a vertex or a point of the angle at point E. So one name we could give to that is angle D E. F. The other name would be angle F E D. Again, making sure that that point E vertex is in the middle. If we look at this other small angle down here, I'll highlight this one in blue. Now we've got a couple of different points that we're working with, but E is still the vertex. So we could name this one angle F E G, or we could go the other way around and go angle G E F. But there's one more angle in the picture. Let me use red to highlight this one. There's this big angle that goes from the top all the way to the bottom. So if we look at naming that one, we could name that one angle D E G, or we could call it angle G E D. Now like I mentioned earlier, we're not able to just use the vertex point to name any of these angles. All three of these angles have a vertex at point E. So if we just said we were talking about angle E, we wouldn't know which of these three we're talking about. So if you've got just one angle, you can go three letters or the vertex point. But if you've got more than one angle shown in your picture, then you have to use the three letter way of naming it. Next thing we're looking at is measuring angles, so figuring out how big angles are. And we measure angles using something called a protractor, and that's going to be this thing on the top left hand side of my screen. If you look at my protractor, we've got this vertical straight up and down line in the middle. We've also got this flat horizontal line going across the bottom, and it makes almost like an upside down T shape where those lines come together. What I want to do in order to use this protractor is I want to take the point of that T and we're going to put that on the vertex of our angle. So I'm going to start with this angle on the right hand side where we've got angle A, B, C. Again, like I said, I'm going to take that upside down T and put it right at the vertex point so that the flat horizontal line lines up with the bottom line of our angle. And now what we're going to look at or what we're going to focus on is where does our other side of the angle match up with some of those numbers up there. Now there's two sets of numbers. If our angle opens up from right to left like this one does, the bottom side is on the right and then it opens up towards the left, we're going to focus on the bottom numbers. So we're looking for the number that matches up with this BA ray 
And since our angle is opening from right to left, we're focusing on the bottom numbers. So right now, it's looking like it's somewhere between 50 and 60. So now what we do is we have to go to these outer markings. This big mark right here is our 50 degree mark, and then we have to count how many over we are. So it's one, two, three, four lines over. So it would be 54 degrees. If we're looking at this other angle down on the bottom left, again sliding our protractor over so that the vertex matches up with that upside down T, and then our bottom line matches up with that horizontal line on our protractor. Again, we're focusing on what number that other line matches up with. But this time, since our angle opens from left to right, we're going to be focusing on those outer numbers. So it looks like this one is somewhere between 120 and 130. So we're going to count the number of marks. So starting at the 120, it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, maybe 5 marks over on this one. So this one would be 125 degrees. When we're measuring angles, there are a few different classifications based on how big those angles are. And the first one is acute. We would say that an angle is acute if it measures between 0 and 90 degrees. So if it's a kind of smaller angle. Our next classification is a right angle. And a right angle is exactly 90 degrees. And the way we show that an angle is a right angle is we put this little square box down in the corner. Now once we start to get a little bit bigger, we've got an obtuse angle. So this is an angle that's somewhere between 90 and 180 degrees. So this is a little bit of a bigger angle. And then as far as the angles that we're dealing with, our last type of angle, or the biggest angle that we're going to be dealing with, is something called a straight angle. And a straight angle's measure is exactly 180 degrees. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.